and welcome back. The next part that we have, uh, the next building block that we have in the Moby Rise uh, editor is this block here. And as you can see, it's a gallery of images. So what we'll do is we'll just click on that block and it'll set our gallery up. So you can see here that it's already set with a four across by two up and down. So two rows of four across. Now this is the uh, default for this particular uh, section, this particular block, and you can actually change some of those by looking at the parameters. So let's look at that. <clears throat> First we have, we can choose uh, whether you want it to go full width. So full width just means that it goes from the very edge all the way to the very edge. Now if you want to change that and you want to add a little bit of padding, you just take that off and then all of a sudden it adds a little bit of padding all the way around and kind of sets this off and if you add that to the fact that you can change the background color it can make a nice little featured section uh, where it can set off your photographs um, or product images or whatever it is so you can just change that color uh, to whatever you want it to be. Uh, right now let's keep it at white and let's leave it like it is for now. So this is full width uh, you can also create some spacing. So this is not something I would necessarily do at full width, but I do think it looks nice if you have a little bit of spacing in between them, like this, and then you've created a nice little gallery. So it's a very clean, uh, kind of a minimalistic look, uh, or you can take the spacing away, which is a, a little more modern uh, type of feel. And the other control that we have is to change the images themselves. So this works just like we've uh, talked about before. You have all of your images you can see here. Uh, this uh, image here with the person in the woods is the first one and then we have this one that is the second one and if you click on each image you'll see it change here as well. You can see that it's cycling through and that's how you actually change the images. If you wanted to add another one you could and so now we have a, another, images, another image. If you want to create symmetry, you could have four. And so now we have four by three. And so a nice uh, gallery of 12 images. <clears throat> if you want to remove an image, you have to highlight it first so that it shows up here. Click remove and it takes it away. So now we're on the last ones. Click remove and it automatically goes to whatever the next one is click remove. So we've, we've added the four and now that we've removed the four. Um, changing images is just as easy. So you would click on, I want to change this one, which is the first image. <clears throat> you can either click on it here and it will pull it up. You can see here it pulls it up or you can click on it in this row here and just navigate between all of them. If you want to change your image, you have to click on this image here and it will bring up your um, your system explorer, whatever it's called on, on your uh, operating system. And then you can navigate to wherever you have some images stored. I have images here, so we could just change it to some of my own personal images. So there's one there. And then to change this image, you would just go down to the next one, click it click in here and then um, let's see some more neutral images there's one and then we'll just go through changing some of these images and so you get the picture and then we have a nice gallery of images and the way that shows up is that when you preview it, you'll actually see them uh, pop up in what's called a light box. And that's uh, a layer that's over the top of the website. So let's go down here. We have our images here. The icon means, you know, if you click it, then you'll be able to view the image. So you can click it. And then it brings it up in a nice little player. And it's actually going to bring you a slideshow of all of your images so you can see you have some simple controls here and then it will allow you to slide through all of the images
then you can also control down here by going to each individual image. And I believe they're also swipeable. So this is a fully mobile responsive uh, website. And so you should be able to swipe through those with your finger as well. You can get out of that that way. And then now that is your uh, gallery of images. Again, uh, you can use a more a more modern full width style so that if you preview that in the browser <clears throat> then we can see that the images actually stretch all the way across the page so you can see it's a little bit of a a different style not a very good uh, not a very good style to put this these two elements together a graphic element on top of a bunch of other graphic elements um, unless this had kind of a different style other than maybe their illustrations as opposed to uh, photographs but that's something uh, style and design is something that you'll have to work out we're focusing mostly on these videos about how to actually use the tools and then it'll be up to you to uh, to figure out how those tools work best with the content that you have for your organization or business. So that is the gallery section of the MobiRise Editor.